New York is back, I gotta tell you. I mean, it's great to be in a physical space with people, the energy is high. Um, certainly feels like um, we're coming out of the woodwork as an industry, we're back and we wanna be with each other. So that's a good thing. Why though? Um, well, you know, not only were we all kept too long in our homes, but I think while we were home, we were watching a lot of TV and it happens to be that cord cutting has reached a record level in the country and streaming has also reached a record level and uh, that's really shattered all the traditional models for measurement. And so now we are here as an industry to try and figure this out. How are we gonna move from the past to the future? Um, COVID only accelerated those trend lines and I think this is a good group of people coming together to make it happen. So Ashwin, uh, you guys have sort of moved beyond you know, an ACR data source to something much bigger. Could you just define what Samba is today? So Samba is an omni-screen uh, advertising and measurement uh, platform, but we were built, as you said, on first party data. We also built first party identity resolution, so we can bring our data into the ecosystem to basically rise the entire industry that's starved for data. You know, whether you're a marketer trying to figure out how to buy TV, plan TV, make it effectively a higher performing medium, or you're a seller trying to figure out how to bring a larger package of inventory, uh, also uh, beyond just sort of traditional audience and uh, demography segmentation. The industry needs data and needs identity to bring that data out. And uh, Samba has built a really big core competency in these two areas so we can advance the measurement discussion and really push this forward. Great, and, and to what side of the ecosystem? The buy side, the sell side? I know you have customers on both. Where do you guys sit? Samba works with the entire industry. So we're a data and identity company at the core. Um, that means when we go to work with marketers, we can usually figure out how they can use their own first party data to reach the people they're trying to either reach out to from a customer standpoint or to their prospects, ones they would like to have in their customer set. And uh, building from first party data is usually where our conversations start with marketers. Um, we have our own first party data, uh, which we can also enable the sell side with. So whether you're media aggregators you know, in the SSP ecosystem, or you're an actual inventory owner, you know, like a Disney or a Facebook or a Twitter or a Google, all partnering with Samba to be able to make their inventory more appealing you know, to the marketer that's trying to figure out how to build a succession plan for linear TV. So Ash, I wanted to ask what you think is um, happening now in our industry. It's, it's, it's you know, with changes at, at Nielsen and the MRC that we all know about and this sort of land grab or this incredible energy around measurement and and the RFP coming from NBC where they have like 80 companies, like what's going on? Well, there's a, a recognition that you know we have to move beyond GRPs. Uh, th this industry is done with proxies and hand waviness and the accreditation point, you know, like we can't beat Nielsen up too much. I mean, it was hard to build and deploy meters in a pandemic. Like that's a hard thing to do when you can't go to people's houses and set up a meter. And what it's done is it's pushed the industry to say, well, what can we do better? And first party data sets, you know, are coming together from smart TVs, you know, from set top box, um, you know, from new kinds of metering technology. Um, the aggregation of that data is going to create new forms of uh, enablement for currency. And it's also going to enable new currencies. So I think we're going to move from a world where one currency and methodology ruled them all to an environment where we're going to have a number of new currencies emerging bringing TV really up to date, because in digital we've been doing this for decades. You know, as a client, media companies in the digital world basically accommodate many different currencies today. Um, in TV, we have to catch up, and, and Samba as a data partner, as an identity partner, is going to enable many new currencies to come into the market. We happen to have two of our own. You know, one is a reach metric, the other one is a tune-in or a consumption metric for outcomes uh, for entertainment marketers. But we work with dozens of other measurement companies. You've probably seen announcements that we have with Comscore, Kantar. Um, there's a number of new companies, Lucid, that are basically saying we can fill the needs of an NBC or a Disney or any other media company that wants to give their clients more flexibility. So in that sort of new currency, is there a danger of sort of wall gardens emerging and data being sort of sheltered um, and not being that available? Every media owner, anyone who owns Adam inventory wants to be a walled garden. But um, you know, what we've learned from walled gardens over the last 20 years is that there is a ceiling of how much any one walled garden can command in terms of market share 
and how much they can sort of shield transparency uh, into the performance of media. And so every major walled garden, including the biggest ones, Google, Facebook, Twitter, Snap, they all embrace measurement. Uh, they want third party measurement to come in so that they can grow their share of wallet, grow their share of budget, uh, and provide clients confidence that their media investments are working. Great, Ash, listen, I'm so excited about our Beat Retreat coming up in three weeks, and I'm really, really happy to uh, partner with Samba. Uh, what are your hopes uh, coming out of Santa Monica later next month? So when we're in Santa Monica, we're going to have an awesome group of media buyers, some media sellers, a number of enabling platforms. You know, Samba wants to be here to innovate, to foster innovation. We want to make our data and identity available to those who are trying to advance you know, past the single currency model, and we want to make sure that uh, we're as a good partner as we possibly can be.